Hey folks, how are you? Happy uh, Tuesday, I guess? Uh, that's today. Yeah, today is, uh, I guess, Tuesday, September 26th, and I'm Joshua, and this is my lunchtime uh, or lunchtime project series where I work on a game over my lunch break. I uh, try to do it every weekday. Um, so this current series I'm working on right now is called BS Chess. It is a Twitch uh, playable uh, chess game. I can launch it here while I give my little spiel, I suppose. Uh, just launch Python app.py. And here we go. Here is a, it's a little chessboard. Um, let me flip over to actually a place where you can see it. There we go. Uh, place it all the way over here. There's some room for that. And you can enter moves into the chat. So I can say open up with um, uh, e2, e4. Something like that. And uh, we display the move, we just record the history, all that good jazz. Uh, this series is more focused on programming. Um, so we've been working on implementing the MVC pattern to build an application, this particular application. Um, we have uh, multiple views right now. Uh, we have a console view. We have a, uh, right now we're looking at the, the libtdl view. Um, basically all the views just show the, the data in just different ways. And that's been kind of a cool thing to work on. Uh, hey, Victor. Hey, SG Bazi. Hey, Steven. Um, yeah, so I want this. Uh, so let, let's just kind of review like our, my little uh, my goals for this stream. So BS Chess is a no holds barred, no rules chess game played through Twitch chat. And uh, the series goals have a stream format that follows the software development process. Again, if you're not familiar with the software development process, it's traditionally described as a five step process where you have a requirements phase, a design phase, you have a implementation phase, a verification phase, and a maintenance phase. Um, I am using an agile development process where I go through these in a quick, quick series succession. It's about an hour uh, all told, and I, I boil it down to a, a design phase, an implementation phase, and a QA phase. It are the tr the three phases and three segments of the stream that I try to go through um, on a daily basis, uh, just to ensure that um, we know what we're building, we build the correct thing, we build it, and then we verify uh, that we built the thing we wanted to build and that it works the way we think it works. And so far, it's been pretty successful in that. Um, uh, also, yeah, so, so yeah, the second, the second uh, part of that is using developed understanding of the MVC pattern. I think this has been coming along quite well. Hopefully folks who are wishing to learn MVCs are getting a little bit of an idea how things work. Uh, what else? Uh, allow the, uh, so yeah, so I, I still want to allow user pull request for the view component. Um, I keep saying this and I keep not making a lot of progress on that. Uh, mostly because the view API is not completely nailed down. So I think instead of next week working on the, the networking stuff, maybe pivoting and working on uh, shoring up the view API. So if people want to implement their own views, uh, they are certainly welcome to. I think that might be a little bit more useful. Okay, uh, so for the goals for today, we want to um, uh, continue uh, our work on the chess movement generation. And what this is, is uh, how, how our chess uh, engine works right now. It's very basic. It just, uh, for a given board state, we iterate through every single square uh, on the board. If the square is occupied, uh, we figure out what directions that piece can move in, and then we iterate through all of those directions to figure out all the possible move combinations. Uh, so when a player enters a move, we simply say, is that move they wanting, they're wanting to perform, is that in this set of the moves that we've calculated out? And that, that's what we're working on. So right now, um, we started off with a, a, a debug chess uh, move variant where the pieces could move anywhere. And now we were working on implementing a more standard uh, rule set for chess where the uh, pieces have directionality. So for example, um, if I wanted to say move that uh, pawn at uh, e4 back to their original spot at e2, um, it's not gonna let me. Uh, and we see the darkened text telling us that. So basically the, the pawns uh, have directionality and they can't move backwards. Um, but for example, the queen at uh, d1 uh, can move to say uh, f3 and then back again, right? That, that is totally fine for the, the queen to do. Yeah, so um, we're working on our chess move generation. I think I want to, so, this is um, 
Uh, so this is, let's try to finish, move, uh, finish, move, generate. Oh, and also we're in the design phase right now. So this is the first segment. This is like, this is our design phase. This is figuring out what we're working on and how we know uh, that we've accomplished what we set out to do. So finish, finish movement generation for uh, king, queen, uh, bishop, knight, and rook. Uh, pawns are a little, there's a few edge cases to the pawns, so I don't want to worry about those so much. Uh, so, um, uh, keep in mind, um, pieces that move only once. So that is king and knight. And then also uh, account for... Uh, sliders, I think I've heard, heard them called that. I mean, that was just a, a, a something I picked up in Sunfish. Um, those are um, the the queen, the bishop, and the rook. So basically, um, so right now, if I wanted to, I could move, say, one of my knights uh, at b one to uh, d five. Uh, so basically, like taking two moves at once. Um, so we want to. Uh, disallow that. Okay. Um, now that's that's what um, this 1.2 is about. 1.3 is about for sliders. Um, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. And then uh, I'll just make this two, right? And then uh, what? What else? Um, uh, three. Um, finish move generation for pawns. Um, this is uh, move one or two spaces at start. This is uh, capture diagonally. And actually, if this is the case, we also need to consider capturing as well, right? Like um, uh, capturing. This needs to be uh, only uh, pieces of opposite color. And this might be biting off more than we can choose. So let's go ahead and pare it down to, um, yeah, let's do something like, I'll make that point 0.4, make this point. Th Three, and then we can maybe move this up, maybe push this into uh, future work. Again, we're trying to, I'm trying to scope this correctly for what we can get accomplished, I think, in our 35, 40 minutes-ish of implementation time. So uh, finish our move generation for the king, queen, bishop, knight, and rook. Keep in, uh, keep in mind pieces that only move once, so the knight and um, the uh, king. Account for the sliders, so the queen, bishop, rook. And then capturing. Uh, only pieces of opposite color can be captured. Um, to solve this, uh, we need to compare uh, cases. Because that's how our, uh, the 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 data in our model is stored uh, as one uh, one side is lowercase, the other side is uppercase. So um, uh, this might require a helper method. Um, okay, so. It might be. It might look something like def uh, same case uh, s one s two something like that. And it returns yeah then something like uh, returns true if. Um, uh, the cases are the same. Something like that. 
Um, what else? What else? Might we, what else might we consider for this stuff? So we've we've already accounted for moving off the board. Um, yeah, I think this this might be this might be uh, a good chunk of the rest of our movement generation. So I think we're ready to move on to the next segment, which would be uh, the implementation phase. So let me go ahead and fire open PyCharm. And um, let's go ahead and take care of the, the, again, the pieces that only move once. So the king and the, the knight. Uh, where'd you go? Okay. Tuck this on top of my head for the time, uh, for the time being. And again, feel free to um, mess around and chat uh, with this stuff. Um, so this is uh, in our standard um, our standard variant of chess in the move generation. Um, so I think what happens here is um, um, this is um, check all possible directions. And then this one is um, uh, check all squares along a given direction. So for example, if we're moving the pawn up, um, we would only want to um, uh, we'd only want to move at least one. Right now, what we can do is, um, so what we do is for, because basically um, the piece is going to move in between, uh, at, at a minimum one square, so there's that, and at a maximum seven squares, so uh, this range is just um, checking along a given direction between one and seven spaces. Um, we, uh, da 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 da. Uh, so this this valid square, all this is is a string that allows us to know. Um, and actually, we might even be able to. Yeah, we could use this to. We can, we can actually make this a method to check to see if this is a valid square. Not only um, if um, we were capturing a piece, or if we're if we're moving to empty space, we could actually. Um, uh, so let's just make a, me a method called def uh, valid destination, and it takes in a piece. Um, so then basically if, um, uh, piece dot upper equals piece. Uh, we're dealing with the, the uppercase character. Otherwise, we're dealing with the lowercase character. So then we can just say um, return piece uh, in. Um, and for uppercase characters, it should just be this subset, right? The uppercase characters can't take uh, can't take other uppercase characters. So let's do that, and then here's a return uh, piece in, and then it should be yes, cool. That should be all right. So then here, instead of saying if uh, board at desk not in valid square, we can say if um, if not valid destination for board at da 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 And we also need to pass in, I guess, um, dest. Yeah, so basically we need to So 
So that's the board at desk, and then this is square. So given a piece, um, yeah, we need to check this dest. Okay, I think that should work. So for, for a given piece, if the piece is, um, if the uppercase version of the piece is equal to itself, then it's an uppercase character. And then we return if the destination is in this subset, uh, which is a valid move. So if these are captures and this is moving to empty space. And then conversely, so we have a lowercase piece. So is the, des is the destination where we're moving to, is that a uppercase character or, a, uh, or an empty square? So again, these, are, uh, these should validate. Uh, if we can actually move that piece there, whether it's an empty square or a capture. Um, so if, if it's not a valid destination, break. Okay. And then here, what we do is we yield a given uh, coordinate. Uh, this is from and to. And then we uh, increment our range and keep on going. But we can say if, um, if square not in, or say that square dot upper, uh, not in um, a queen, bishop, uh, and rook, uh, break, right? So if the piece that we're, we're dealing with is not either a queen, a bishop, or a rook, uh, this means it's a, a, a king or a knight or a pawn. Uh, that's right, right? It's a, um, uh, a king, a knight, or a pawn. So those only move once. So these, these we can keep checking. Uh, otherwise, we break out of this inner loop to check the, the uh, squares along a given direction. Okay, so let's test this real quick. Uh, I forgot to start my uh, subscriber bot. There we go. There we go. Nice. Cool. So let's take a peek at this. So now I shouldn't, I should, one, I should not be able to take my own pieces. So A1, A2 should not work. Hey, Tyreek, how are you, sir? Okay. But, and then also like uh, A2, A5 should not work. Okay, that's good. But so um, E2, E3. Okay, so that does work. And then the, the queen should still work. Um, H5. Nice. Nice, you released a Catacomb Kids update. Oh man, that is, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I know all about long overdue updates, sir. So I, I have, Congratulations on, on getting that pushed out. I'm sure it feels amazing. Um, let's also look at our knight. So B1, uh, B5, did not work. Cool. So that is solving uh, a couple of our goals for today, right? So this is um, solving, so capturing pieces of opposite color. I can compare cases, so we, 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 we got this going. So um, uh, this goal is done. Um, finish move generation for king, queen, bishop, rook, knight. So right now the sliders, the king, bishop, rook, they are working. I think the, the knight and the king are working too. Um, and we still have time, so we may push on to uh, work on the pawns. But let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and just commit our changes that we have currently for our uh, what we have, where we have right now. So stop this and let's go to our command prompt. Uh, look at the changes we made. 
We added a new helper method just to validate um, moving a given piece to a given destination. Um, we, comment, we, we commented some code, and then also we are updating some of our checks. Um, and also we're breaking uh, on the slider. So um, the things that don't need to move more than one square don't move more than one square. So git add dot git commit dash m. Um, um, uh, moves uh, uh, correct uh, calculation or correct move generation for king, queen, bishop, rook, or knight, rook. Yeah, push. Hey, Dakota, I'm all right. Cool. Nice. Okay, now let's tackle our buddy the pawn. Um, so, future work today. Okay, that's that's nice. Uh, sometimes things go smoothly, more smoothly than than you hope. Um, uh, let's not save this. So, so we need to finish move generation for our pawns. Uh, pawns can move one or two spaces at start, and they capture diagonally. Um, uh dakota um the king also starts with a k um so the king is designated as k and the knight is designated as n Yeah, no, I definitely have been reading up on my chess programming, so I, I, I know a little bit of what I'm doing. Okay, so that's good. So now we need, we need to handle our, our little buddy, the pawn. Oh, yeah, if... Yeah, if you want to fiddle with this, I can, I can certainly just let this run. Let's just, I'll just, um, I'll pop this up here and you folks should be able to play-ish. Um, it's not, it's not perfect, but you should be able to like just uh, mess around. Um, again, there are no teams and there are no turns, but you can move the pieces around the board. Um, no, <laughs> so Steven, Steven is asking, are you worrying about castling slash Um, and no, I am, I am definitely not worrying about those things. Uh, that's a, uh, I could, um, they are solvable, but for right now, I, I'm not worried about it. Um, but right now I'm worried about letting the, ch the, the pawns move too. Um, so actually let's do... How to do this best? Because this um, uh, prevents no. Um, so we need to start handling our special cases for our um, yeah. Four Bit Friday makes catacomb kids. Um, So we could special case it. So let's just go ahead and do it, I guess, down here. Um, if uh, square is equal to, say, um, P, and again, I always forget. Let's take a, let's take a peek at our model. So that, that, that's the lower row. And this should be in the range of um, 80s, I think. That's uh, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So that should be something like 80, yeah. 
Um, so if square equals p and i is, uh, I can do this. So 80 is, uh, i is greater than 80 less than 90. Uh, and this, this syntax in Python always is so bizarre to me. Um, but it, I guess it makes sense, right? Um, uh, okay. Um, and these move north. And D equals north. Uh, say dest two equals um, I plus D times two, and then we should yield um, this again. So we're, right here, we're we're just special casing the the the, the pawns can move. Um, it doesn't matter. I can just call this dest, right? Um, we're special casing, so um, special case pawns can move two squares. Or first move. So basically, we're checking to see if this pawn is still in the the row that, that they start at. And if the direction they're heading is north, then they can go ahead and um, um, we can we can go ahead and yield that additional move. Um, and also, if stuff isn't working the way you think it should work, let me know. Yeah, the F eight C six failed. I think C5 is what you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, also here, uh, we need to do another... Um, uh, special case uh, pawns only move diagonal when capturing. So um, if uh, square dot upper equals p. So if we're, if we're moving a pawn, and d is not equal to, oh, yeah, we need to, we need to do both of these, right? So we'll c, v, and then if we have a lowercase pawn, they are moving south, and I think they are in um, row 40, 50. Okay. Uh, okay, so F square um, equals P and D is not uh, north if dest equals 
or if uh, if board at dest, um, equals uh, empty uh, break or no we want to continue no we can break right because they only move yeah we can break uh, so this should prevent pawns just moving diagonally arbitrarily um, so let's give that a shot I think the, were those the goals we set for yeah so capture diagonally and move our one or two spaces at start. So that should be, I think those are the, the cases. Let's just also, real quick, let's add the, uh, the other case. So little p and not south, do the same thing. So let me do that, stop that, and run. So now our pawns shouldn't be able to move diagonal. So uh, a2, b3 should fail. Uh, a to a five should fail. A to a four should work. Uh, uh, B to B three should work. B to B three. Cool. Um, uh, B seven B five should work. Um, oh, 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 yes. So, that should have, that should have worked. Um, did I get the, uh, let's check this condition. Uh, B seven B five. Did not even hit the breakpoint. Um, B seven B five. Okay, so square uh, is P and what is the I? Um, I is twenty two. Right? Hmm. Weird. Okay, well, we can adjust our code. I'm trying to make sure why I understand that, though. So that should be between 20 and 30. Uh, B7, B5. Why is D equal to 19? Okay, so. Uh, what is D? Curious why this is not executing then. Um, um, direction is 21. 
Okay. D is 19. So something's, something's going on strangely with our... So our uh, directions at square. Um, Yeah, so, yeah, that should be fine. There should only be three? I'm really... What's going on here? Uh, so remove our watches. Let's add directions, the dictionary. Let's explore this dictionary. So that is correct. That is correct. Am I modifying D somewhere? Um, square is, yeah, square is, okay, wait, square is no longer a pawn. Um, uh, let's continue. Uh, let's also add, um, uh, uh, square. So we're adding a conditional breakpoint because we only want to debug special cases. So we're only going to debug pawns. Um, <laughs> thank you, Stephen. I really appreciate that, sir. And also, I, I appreciate you sneaking out of the uh, the top the top uh, cheer there. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool. Um, uh, all seven, B five. Okay, so we are looking at a pawn. Um, our direction is south. This is what we expect. Square is equal to little p. Direction is equal to 10, so that's fine. We're going to yield this, which is what we expect. Now we're special casing move two squares for the first move. Okay, um, so square is equal to p i is equal to 31. so again i think i have my my range messed up here um yeah that makes more sense so because we pad the input we should have a, a zero through nine a 10 through 19. this should be 20 through um uh 29 and this one should be 30 through 39 so that is what i was messing up so this should be 30 through uh, 40. Okay. Let's do that. So once again, for good luck, B7, B5. Uh, and let's just let this execute. I think I, I think I got it this time. I did, sweet. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, so the, the pawns are actually behaving like they're, they are supposed to as well. So yeah, so we got uh, we even hit our stretch goal today, which I'm I'm pretty excited for. Um, so are there any other? Uh, so I think our implementation phase is done. We just need to think about now how we're going to test this. How we're going to verify that we are um, doing what we're supposed to be doing. Um, I mean, we can just do some quick manual testing. It's not the the super most robust way of, of testing, but we can do it. So again. Uh, let's make sure that we can't move diagonal unless we're actually capturing. Um, so let's do that. Um, so I want to say uh, B5, uh, C4. Okay, that is, uh, that's a rejected move. That's good. Um, oh, another thing we need to consider too. Let's, let's look at this situation. Uh, B2, 
B4. Um, now we we can you see what's 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 the what's the issue? I'm pretty sure now if I were to say uh, B5 before that pawn would take the uh, other pawn, and that's not allowed. Uh, so we need to add a, a special case for this as well. Uh, that is something we forgot in our uh, original design, and sometimes this happens. Um, and you know, as as a programmer, it is it's kind of up to you, uh, but usually. Um, like, like when you find a design gap, sometimes it's best to take it back to the designers uh, if you're working on a team and let them know. Um, a lot of times programmers will just fill in the gaps with what they think is appropriate. Um, I don't know, I think maybe it's, it's, it's more of a mature thing to maybe go back with your team with a suggestion and then talk through it with the, uh, the designers and the people who have like a stake in the, um, the, the, the design. Because as, as, as an engineer, typically we are uh, mostly tasked with the actual like uh, implementation and not necessarily some of the design considerations. So it's, 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 it's always a good thing to come back to people, I believe. Uh, but since uh, I am my own uh, design and implementation team, I can, I can kind of suss out this stuff here. Uh, hey, Louis Carl, thank you for popping in. Uh, late is better than never. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, so um, let's just add another special case right here, right? So um, uh, special case, uh, pawns cannot uh, capture um, pawns cannot capture um, uh, Um, um, so it's, it's, it's similar to this, right? Pawns only move diagonal when capturing. Pawns can only capture diagonally, which is kind of the, con the converse, right? So you can only move diagonal when you capture, and you can only capture um, when you're moving diagonally. So, um, Similar to this, it's probably something. It's going to be probably a similar case, and maybe we can merge these two. Let's just kind of talk through it. So, if if we have a pawn, and we uh, we are moving uh, north, if the board at dest is is in um, or if board dot dest um, yeah, is in uh, king, queen, bishop, knight, rook, pawn, break. Um, right, so if we are trying to move north and we actually, we, I'm sorry, this is the wrong case, right? This needs to be lowercase. Usually there's a edit, toggle case, cool, nice. Um, then we can copy this. And then if we are uh, a, a black pawn and we are moving south, if the board is in the opposite of that, so edit, toggle case, back, toggle case, break. So we, we, we don't capture um, if we're not moving diagonally. So again, let's stop this and run it again and verify that we've covered up this, uh, we've, we've, we've corrected this, uh, this bug, this edge case that we missed. Um, B2, B4, B7, B5, and uh, B4, B5. Okay, that's not valid, cool. Um, This also doesn't catch us with the, the 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 case that we're moving to, right?
So here we could check as well. Um, here. So if board at dest, uh, again, we don't want to be able to move two and capture. That's what I'm trying to prevent here. Uh, same thing here. And the code is starting to look a little ugly. Maybe we can think about how we can refactor this. Uh, don't capture on a, a two square move. Okay, so let me just test this out real quick. Uh, B2, B4, um, B4, B5, and then uh, B7, B5. Cool, that is no longer allowed. Um, cool. Uh, that's why we, we test things. Um, should be fine. Um, what other things we might might we consider with uh, the pawn movement? Let's go ahead and add this too. So, um, I didn't only, and then which these these seem like the same thing, but one is um, two girls uh one is talking about capturing and one is talking about movement um which are slightly slightly different things they're very similar but slightly different keep you on top cool then b76 get those two stuck together Okay. Um, what else? I want to. I, I want to think about how we can refactor some of this duplicate code. Um, we could reuse this, right? We could say this range modifier, we could allow it to go up to two um, for a pawns, right? And then we wouldn't have the special case. Um, the, well, we still have to special case it, right? Because we still have to check to make sure um, that they're in their, their home row. But some of this other stuff might simplify, so let's try that. Um, um, this is um, stop uh, pieces that only move once. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I goofed. <laughs> so Louis actually, actually, Louis actually going for it. Um, yeah, let's do it. I guess I, guess I could play for a little bit. Uh, D eight, D six, D six, F six, F six, F three. Going for you, Louis. <laughs> Um, uh, 
yeah so let's go ahead and let's commit what we have here uh because um <laughs> nice that, that's the correct move um so often when you're when you're developing software um like one of the, like the first thing you worry about is making it function right uh and after it's functional um then you worry about it actually like being like a, like a good elegant solution and then um usually the last thing you worry about is perf uh you could probably you probably flip the the last two in any order um Typically, I like to have simple, elegant code because it's easier to maintain, especially if you're working on a team. It's good to have very simple, very readable code. Uh, oftentimes, um, you sacrifice readability for performance. Um, that's just a fact of life. Uh, so oftentimes, you try to hide that away as best you can. Um, and he took my queen. Louis took my queen. Uh... Um, yeah, so let's commit what we have now before we, so this will give us a place to kind of go back to, um, so we don't goof up things. Uh, so get status, we've changed just the, the standard definition, the standard variant of chess. That's cool. So let's do a, um, um, get add dot, get commit dash M, and this is a uh, pawn movement generation push all right and actually one thing i haven't done with this stream very much is just actually play uh at all for a little bit which is kind of a shame um so let me actually, let's just play for a little while, right? We have five minutes here on the end. Let's just go ahead and just, um, I'll start a new game and let's just, because uh, I'm worried now that like there's not a lot of fun behind us. So let's just, let's just play for a few rounds and just see how things go. Um, and again, there's, there's no real rules. Just kind of, just kind of play however you like. Uh, we'll see where, where the fun is. But yeah, so just start hammering in commands. Everybody, if you're watching, and let's see how, how this all holds up. Uh, so I guess I'm going to play. Oh no, Louis, <laughs> you were the only one playing too. That's a, that's a bummer. <laughs> um, okay, let's block Louis there. Uh, let's get out. Uh, da, 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 da. Oof. Um, uh, there we go. Um, cool. Uh, <laughs> Oh, nope. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. There we go. Stop that nonsense fast. Um, <laughs> yeah, playing it real time is a little weird. Uh, I, I guess people do play it real time. It's, it's not that, uh, that uncommon of a thing. Um, yeah, how do I get my pieces moving faster? Uh, um, yeah, my fluency with the chessboard is not very great, so it takes me a while to hammer in these uh, uh, these uh, inputs. <laughs> cool. 
Cool. Well, I think this is enough of me playing chess by myself, uh, talking to myself. Uh, so I think I'll go ahead and wrap it up. Um, but maybe, maybe if I did a maybe like a nice juicy like uh, sprite animated version, it might be cool. I don't know. Maybe it's just not an interesting thing. Yeah. Um, and also, this stream is w way more focused on software development. Hey, thanks for popping in, Louis Carl. Uh, yeah. So hey, everybody. I am Joshua. Oh, the pink Freudian. Oh, we got. Oh, we have a new. A new challenger stepping up to the plate. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate you stepping up, Pink Freudian. Let's do this. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's threatening my knight. Uh, also, Pink Freudian, there are there are no turns, so you can just move as fast as you can. Um, so feel 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 free to. Um, ooh, he's got he's got either one. Let's, let's see. Uh, G or. There we go. Um, cool, but yeah, let me go ahead and sign off here. So I am Joshua. This has been BS Chess, a lunchtime uh, development project I do every weekday from noon to one, thereabouts, specific time. Um, let me think. You can follow me here on Twitch at Joshua Skelly. You can follow me on Twitter at Joshua Skelly. Uh, on Sundays, I do a Delver uh, development stream. That is the video game I'm working on. It's a dungeon crawler with procedural uh, first-person action, which is all good. Um, you can also, uh, uh, I'm a Twitch affiliate, so you can subscribe to me, which I consider to be like a tip jar. So if you find what I do to be interesting, entertaining, or you just want to see more of, uh, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, for this month, uh, the month of September, uh, Twitch has a promotional called Subtimber. Uh, you see what they did there? Uh, where you can subscribe to me for the first month at half price, and I still get the full benefit, so that's cool. Um, uh, let me think. Yeah, so I do appreciate all my wonderful, lovely uh, subscribers. In no particular order, they are Kodrake, Glass Casket TV, Dr. Kegel, Smith, A Literal Train, SG Bozzy, No Field, Neil Slichter, New Obj, Mrs. Beefy, 1111, Nick's Rod and Fifth Elephant. You folks are kind and amazing and I appreciate your support. Um, I will be uh, I will be back here tomorrow um, where I think, um, yeah, uh, we may do some more move generation. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but I'll definitely talk about it on my community Discord. Uh, so there is a Discord people can go to talk about uh, stuff. And my Discord is organized just by a channel per project. There's also a show and tell there where my wonderful, talented viewers uh, share what they're working on, which is always cool to, to see. Okay, uh, I think I've done enough uh, shameless plugging. If you, yeah, just go ahead and have a good day. I'll see you back tomorrow.